Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about female shadows, how to master her shadows, how to honor them, how to love them. The topic for this video is how to know if you reached toxicity limits. <laughs> shadows are not always welcome, you know. There is a point where you go like, okay, right now I'm fucking saturated. I need peace, I need harmony, I need us to go into a space that is going to be nurturing for the two of us. And um, so it's good to check in and feel when you are reaching the saturation point where you go enough is enough. We've been in too much intensity for the last months, two months, three years, ten years. I'm done with this, okay? So there is a point where you reach the breaking point, literally. So here is how it works, you know, how I feel it works. When you meet somebody, very often you are going to be in the nice, beautiful, romantic period of, for a certain period of time. It might be uh, between a month to six months, maybe longer, maybe you never leave the romantic time, the romantic period. But basically what it means is that you've got mainly lights coming in, light, f light energies, light vibration. And, and uh, this light vibration, this light frequency feels really good. It's love, it's nurturing, it's care, validation, presence, transparency. You know, it's a whole lot of qualities that feel really good into your system and it nurtures you and it gives you love. And it's beautiful when you receive them. You love receiving that, you love receiving conscious touch from your partner. And so there is going to be a moment where suddenly the first, you know, kind of dissonance starts kicking in. It might be a simple fight over some argument over something that she wants to buy or, or a parent coming in or, you know, some ex-boyfriend or lover coming into, into her field or somebody coming into your field as well, you know, a new woman, something. But the, the point is that there is going to be a moment where you have this little dissonance where you go like, oh, we are reaching a little point of friction here. So you observe that first moment and sometimes that moment is going to kick in within the first date, you know, it might be there already in the very beginning, it's possible. But you're going to observe that and then you are going to start witnessing or realizing that sometimes you are in resonance and sometimes you are in dissonance. Sometimes you are in fight trigger mode, you are in friction mode and sometimes you are in opening and hard space. And when you are in hard space, most of the times you feel really relaxed. You feel like, oh, it's easy, yeah, chill, and then suddenly you go like, oh, that's it, she's getting triggered, or you are getting triggered about something, and then here we go, then you start diving into the shadow again. So you can measure how much time you actually spend in shadow mode or dissonance mode, and how much time you spend in light mode or resonance mode. And very often for couples, you know, you, you will be into the... 80 to 100 percent resonance or light mode. The moment you start feeling like you reach the saturation level is when you have more than 50 percent dissonance or shadow kicking in. This means that there is too much toxicity coming into the field, too much friction, too much fights, too much conflict. And then when you're in that zone and all these conflicts are going on all the time, you know, if it's within 50 to 100 percent of the time, you are in conflict and you are in friction and you're in fight mode and you have to defend yourself all the time, you know, against attacks, against tension, then what do you do? After a while you go like, I feel saturated, I'm not recovering anymore. And so when you are in that zone, for instance, if you are with a, with a woman who is intense or in shadow mode 80 percent of the time you know either processing or attacking or fighting or complaining or after a while you go like you know what honey there is just too much toxicity in our field we're fighting too much and sometimes it's coming from her sometimes it's coming from you sometimes it's coming from a combination of both of you you know it's not necessarily one person being guilty no it's like it's a co-creation it's like something that you generate and build together so at that point very often it's going to be you know what we are reaching the saturation point. I'm not sure if we can be together because there is just too much. So it's good to figure out when is the time to give up because effectively for certain relationships in certain moments in your life, you might be reaching the saturation point and be like, you know what, it's no longer working for me. The degree of toxicity is too high. And so it's good to know that, you know, what, when I'm saying embracing her shadows, it doesn't mean just throwing your life away and being in dissonance mode all the time, okay? It simply means having the capacity to 
or at least embrace, witness and stay present in moments of intensity. But that intensity sometimes represents maybe 20% of the interaction that you have with her. And that's fine, you know, that's manageable. It's like if you are in harmony for four days and then you have one day of dissonance or challenge and fight, then that's okay, that's manageable. If you have four days of fight and dissonance and then one day of harmony in a week, then you're in trouble most of the time because your system just doesn't recover. It's like if you are in a war zone all the time, you know, what are you going to do? Where's the harmony? Where's the beauty? Where is the love? You get that, right? So watch for yourself, for your own relationship and for your connection with the people in your life. You know, how much toxicity is there in the field? Is it something that your system can take? And the moment you feel like you're reaching the saturation level, then maybe it's time to say goodbye. You get that? I'll see you soon for another tip.